Ezekiel, a prophet in exile, had vivid visions and prophecies, including the Valley of Dry Bones. His message emphasized God's sovereignty, judgment, and future restoration. The next time you are asked about Amos, a shepherd and prophet, delivered messages of social justice and righteousness. His words challenge societal injustices and call for repentance, reflecting God's concern for the oppressed. The next time you are asked about Jonah, a reluctant prophet, attempted to flee God's call. His journey inside the great fish and subsequent obedience underscore divine forgiveness and second chances. The next time you are asked about Oh, a righteous man endured immense suffering and questioned God's ways. His story explores the mystery of human suffering and the importance of faith and trust in God. The next time you are asked about Naomi, Ruth's mother-in-law, faced loss and hardship but found redemption through Ruth's loyalty. Her story embodies themes of family, resilience, and God's providential care. The next time you are asked about Ruth, a Moabite woman, exemplified loyalty and faith by choosing to stay with her mother-in-law Naomi. Her story portrays themes of love, commitment and God's providence. The next time you are asked about Esther, a Jewish queen in Persia, courageously intervened to save her people from destruction. Her story highlights bravery and divine providence in a foreign land. The next time you are asked about Daniel, a wise and faithful figure, served in Babylon's royal court. His prophetic visions, such as the dream interpretation for Nebuchadnezzar, offer insight into God's plans and sovereignty. The next time you are asked about Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, prophesied God's judgment and the eventual restoration of Israel. His perseverance in delivering unpopular messages reflects his commitment to God's call. The next time you are asked about Isaiah, a major prophet, delivered messages of judgment and hope. His writings, including the prophecy of the Messiah, remain influential in both Old and New Testaments. The next time you are asked about Miriam, Moses' sister, played a pivotal role in the Exodus story. She watched over her brother in the bulrushes, and her leadership was valued among the Israelite women. The next time you are asked about Aaron, Moses' brother, served as the first high priest of Israel. He played a crucial role in leading the Israel Israelites and performing priestly duties during their wilderness journey. The next time you are asked about Elisha, a prophet who succeeded Elijah, performed miracles and continued his predecessor's work. His faithful dedication and supernatural deeds are significant in biblical narratives. The next time you are asked about Elisha, a prophet who succeeded Elijah, performed miracles and continued his predecessor's work. His faithful dedication and supernatural deeds are significant in biblical narratives. The next time you are asked about Elijah, a prominent prophet Prophet performed miracles and confronted false prophets. His fiery chariot ascent symbolizes his unique role as God's messenger and the power of faith. The next time you're asked about Saul, the first king of Israel, was chosen by God, but later faced rejection due to disobedience. His reign marked a transition in Israel's history. The next time you are asked about David, Israel's second king is renowned for his psalms and defeating Goliath. His reign symbolizes God's choice and the establishment of the Davidic dynasty in biblical history. Solomon, David's son, was known for his wisdom, wealth, and the construction of the first temple in Jerusalem. His reign represents a time of prosperity and cultural growth. The next time you're asked about Samuel, a prophet and judge in the Bible, anointed the first two kings of Israel, Saul and David. He played a crucial role in the nation's transition to monarchy. The next time you are asked about Joshua, Moses' successor, led the Israelites into the Promised Land. His leadership included the famous Battle of Jericho, symbolizing God's faithfulness and the fulfillment of his promises. The next time you are asked about Moses, a central figure in the Bible, led the Israelites out of Egyptian slavery, received the Ten Commandments, and guided them toward the Promised Land, exemplifying faith and leadership. The next time you are asked about Joseph, Jacob's son, faced betrayal by his brothers, leading to slavery in Egypt. His journey from the pit to becoming a ruler illustrates themes of providence and forgiveness. Jacob, also known as Israel, was a pivotal figure in the Bible. His life was marked by struggles, including the wrestling with God, leading to the formation of the Twelve Tribes. Rebecca, Isaac, wife played a significant role in biblical narratives. She displayed kindness at the well and contributed to the unfolding stories of the patriarchs in Genesis. Noah, a righteous man, built the ark as God's instruction to save humanity and animals from the great flood. His story showcases faith, obedience, and divine preservation. Abraham, the father of many nations, obeyed God's call to leave his homeland. He's known for his unwavering faith and the covenant with God, which brought blessings to his descendants. Isaac, the son of Abraham and Sarah, was a key figure in biblical history. His birth was miraculous, and he continued the legacy of faith in God's promises. Sarah, Abraham's
Abraham's wife miraculously bore a son, Isaac, in her old age. Her laughter upon hearing the news inspired Isaac's name, signifying God's faithfulness in fulfilling promises. Eve, the first woman in the Bible, was created from Adam's rib. She and Adam lived in the Garden of Eden but were tempted by the serpent, resulting in the fall of men. Adam, the first man in the Bible, symbolizes human creation. He and Eve lived in the Garden of Eden but sinned, leading to the fall of man and the introduction of sin. Have you heard about the sacrifice of Isaac in Genesis 22? God tested Abraham's faith by commanding him to offer his son Isaac as a sacrifice. At the last moment, God provided a ram as a substitute. This event highlights faith, obedience, and God's ultimate provision in the Bible. Have you heard about Sodom and Gomorrah in Genesis 19? These cities faced divine destruction due to their extreme wickedness and sexual immorality. Only Lot and his family were spared. This account underscores the biblical themes of divine judgment and the consequences of moral decay. Have you heard about the Great Flood in Genesis 6-9? God, grieved by humanity's wickedness, sent a deluge to cleanse the earth. Noah, with the ark, preserved life. This event signifies God's judgment and mercy, as well as the theme of renewal and second chances in the Bible. Have you heard about Cain and Abel in Genesis 4? They were the sons of Adam and Eve. Cain, consumed by jealousy, killed his brother Abel. This tragic event illustrates the consequences of sin and the importance of overcoming destructive emotions like envy and anger. Zipporah, wife of Moses and daughter of Jethro, the priest of Midian, played a vital role in biblical history, notably in the story of the circumcision of Moses' son. Jael, a biblical figure, is known for her role in Judges, where she killed the Canaanite general Sisera by driving a tent peg through his head, demonstrating courage and resourcefulness. Have you heard about the fall of man in Genesis 3? It's a pivotal moment where Adam and Eve, tempted by the serpent, ate from the forbidden tree in the Garden of Eden, disobeying God's command. This act introduced sin and suffering into the world, altering the course of human history. Haggai, a prophet in the Bible, urged the Israelites to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem after their return from Babylonian exile, emphasizing the importance of spiritual restoration and divine guidance. Mephibosheth, son of Jonathan and grandson of King Saul, exemplified David's kindness by receiving favor despite his physical disabilities, illustrating themes of grace and compassion in the Bible. Zerubbabel, a leader of the Israelites during the post-exilic period, played a significant role in rebuilding the temple in Jerusalem, symbolizing hope and restoration in biblical history. Ahithophel, a counselor of King David, later sided with David's son Absalom in a rebellion. His betrayal highlights the complexities of loyalty and politics in biblical narratives. So the next time you are asked about Abijah, a king of Judah mentioned in the books of 1st and 2nd Chronicles, faced adversity and displayed faith in God's deliverance, leaving behind a testament of trust and courage. So the next time you are asked about out. Jabez found in 1 Chronicles 4 9-10 prayed for God's blessing and protection, illustrating the transformative power of a simple yet heartfelt prayer in seeking divine favor and safety. So the next time you are asked about Abimelech, a name shared by several biblical figures, notably a king of Gerar in Genesis who encountered both Abraham and Isaac, revealing themes of faith, deception, and divine intervention. So the next time you are asked about Moses' secret deal with Pharaoh, hidden within the iconic Exodus story, reveals a fascinating blend of strategy and divine intervention. Rather than a straightforward demand for freedom, Moses employed cunning negotiation tactics. He began with a humble request to let the Israelites worship in the wilderness, testing Pharaoh's willingness to compromise. Each plague served as both a demonstration of divine power and a negotiation tool. Moses offered an exit strategy after each catastrophe, playing on Pharaoh's pride and desire for control. This psychological maneuvering continued through the ten plagues, with Pharaoh wavering and relenting only after the devastating final play. The secret deal was Moses' astute blend of divine might and human strategy, exploiting Pharaoh's vulnerabilities to secure the Israelites' freedom. Ultimately, the story illustrates the power of negotiation and strategy in the face of adversity, showcasing Moses as a masterful leader who navigated treacherous waters to achieve liberation. The Ark of the Covenant, a sacred relic of immense historical and religious significance, has sparked intrigue and mystery for centuries. This iconic artifact, described in the Bible as a golden chest containing the Ten Commandments held a central role in the Israelites' journey. However, its current whereabouts remain shrouded in uncertainty. The Ark vanished from historical records after the Babylonian conquest of Jerusalem in 587 BC. Some believe it was hidden away, while others speculate it was taken to Ethiopia, where a closely guarded object known as the Ark of the Covenant has been kept for centuries. Legend has it that this Ethiopian relic is, in fact, the original Ark. The enduring fascination with the Ark of the Covenant fuels exploration and speculation. Its potential discovery would be an archaeological and religious milestone
milestone, offering answers to one of history's most captivating mysteries. Until then, the Ark remains an enigmatic symbol of faith, waiting to reveal its secrets to the world. The Secret Gospel of Judas Iscariot, a tantalizing and controversial ancient manuscript, unveils a provocative alternative perspective on one of the Bible's most infamous figures. This Gnostic text, discovered in the 1970s and dating back to the 3rd century, presents Judas not as a traitor, but as a trusted confidant of Jesus, fulfilling a divine mission. In this gospel, Judas is portrayed as the key to Jesus' true teachings, a necessary catalyst for his crucifixion, which was preordained to free his divine spirit from the mortal coil. It challenges conventional Christian beliefs, suggesting that Judas' actions were predestined and that he played a vital role in the grand plan of salvation. The secret gospel of Judas Iscariot adds a layer of complexity to the biblical narrative, sparking debates about its authenticity and significance. Whether considered heretical or illuminating, this ancient text invites us to reevaluate our understanding of a character who has long been vilified, offering a glimpse into the intricate tapestry of early Christian thought and spirituality. The Bible, a source of spiritual guidance for millions, also harbors an enigmatic tale that has baffled scholars and ignited curiosity for generations, the mystery of the Nephilim. These mysterious beings are described as giants who once walked the earth mentioned in the book of Genesis. According to the Bible, the Nephilim were the offspring of fallen angels and human women. This unholy union allegedly led to the birth of giants who roamed the pre-flood world. Their existence raises profound questions about the intersection of divine and earthly realms. The story of the Nephilim has spurred countless interpretations and debates, with some suggesting they were a symbol of human corruption and others positing extraterrestrial connections. Regardless of one's beliefs, the Nephilim remain an intriguing biblical mystery, leaving us to ponder the blurred boundaries between myth and history, faith and reason. Whether they were real giants or symbolic figures, the Nephilim continue to be a captivating enigma that invites exploration and contemplation. The lost city of Atlantis has captivated the imagination of adventurers, scholars, and theologians for centuries. According to Plato's dialogues, this enigmatic civilization, situated beyond the pillars of Hercules, was engulfed by the sea in a catastrophic event. While Atlantis remains shrouded in mystery, some intriguing connections to biblical narratives have been proposed. Many theorists speculate that Atlantis's destruction aligns with the biblical story of Noah's Ark and the Great Flood. Both tales involve a cataclysmic deluge that submerged entire civilizations. Could Atlantis be the remnants of a pre-flood world? Some even suggest that Atlantis was home to advanced beings, possibly fallen angels, akin to the Nephilim mentioned in the Bible. These connections, while speculative, add an extra layer of intrigue to the Atlantis legend, sparking debates about its true nature and existence. Whether it's a mythical utopia or a lost piece of history, the lost city of Atlantis continues to be a tantalizing puzzle, forever entwined with the mysteries of ancient texts. Have you ever felt an inexplicable warmth or seen a sudden burst of light when you needed it most? These could be signs of angelic presence. Angels often communicate with subtle but powerful signs, touching our lives in profound ways. The gentle rustling of leaves on a windless night, a feather mysteriously appearing in your path, or an overwhelming sense of peace during a challenging moment, all can be signs that angels are near. These divine messengers watch over us, offering comfort and guidance in times of need. In the silence of your thoughts, have you ever heard a soft whisper, a loving reassurance that everything will be okay? That may well have been the voice of an angel. These signs are not mere coincidences. They are reminders of a greater spiritual connection. Stay tuned as we explore these signs and delve deeper into the mystical world of angelic presence. Follow to learn how to recognize and embrace the subtle but powerful signals that angels send into our lives, bringing comfort, hope, and love when we need it most. Prepare to be transported into the captivating tale of Enoch, a biblical figure often obscured by the shadows of more well-known characters. Enoch's remarkable journey will not only pique your curiosity, but also provide profound insights into what it truly means to walk in the presence of the divine. As a prophet and visionary, Enoch's unique revelations offer a vivid glimpse into the grand design of God, unearth the hidden treasures within the Book of Enoch, an often overlooked source of wisdom and prophecy, dive deep into the mysteries of creation, the enigma of fallen angels, and the impending judgment that shaped Enoch's extraordinary narrative. Yet the most intriguing aspect of Enoch's story lies in his translation to heaven, bypassing the threshold of earthly death. This awe-inspiring event underscores his righteousness and unwavering faith, promising eternal life for those who faithfully walk alongside God. Enoch's enduring legacy continues to inspire believers, beckoning them to lead lives that honor God. Join us on this journey, a journey that extends beyond history into an opportunity to experience
experience the divine presence within our own lives. In the pages of the Bible, angelic appearances are not just events. They are profound encounters that shape the course of human history. From the angelic annunciation to the Virgin Mary to the heavenly visitors at Jesus' tomb, these moments are nothing short of divine interventions. Each angelic appearance carries a unique message and purpose. When the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary, it heralded the miraculous birth of Jesus. At the tomb, angels proclaimed the resurrection, changing the course of faith forever. Angels also guided and protected individuals like Daniel in the lion's den and the shepherds on that holy night in Bethlehem. These encounters serve as reminders that the divine is always present, working through intermediaries to guide, protect, and deliver messages of hope. As we explore these angelic appearances in the Bible, we'll uncover the profound significance of these celestial messengers in shaping the spiritual landscape of humanity. Stay tuned for deeper insights into these life-changing encounters. In the Bible, angels are not mere bystanders. They are active participants in the divine narrative. These celestial messengers appear throughout the scriptures, playing pivotal roles in shaping human destinies. From the angelic proclamation of Jesus' birth to the guidance of the Israelites through the wilderness, their presence is profound. Angels serve as messengers, protectors, and agents of God's will. They offer guidance to the faithful, strengthen the weary, and deliver divine judgments. Whether it's the Archangel Michael leading heavenly armies or the angel Gabriel delivering life-altering messages, their influence is undeniable. Exploring the Bible's angelic encounters unveils a deeper understanding of faith, providence, and the intricate interplay between heaven and earth. Stay tuned as we delve into these remarkable stories, dissecting the roles of angels in the biblical narrative. Follow to embark on a captivating journey through the sacred pages where angels are far more than ethereal beings. They are instruments of divine purpose. Four indicators of the Holy Spirit's activity in your life. In 1 Corinthians 2, 10, 14, it is noted that the Holy Spirit plays a pivotal role in helping believers grasp spiritual truths. When the Holy Spirit is actively at work in an individual's life, they will encounter a heightened understanding and insight into both scripture and spiritual matters. The scripture in 1 Corinthians 12, 7 to 11 delves into the bestowment of spiritual gifts by the Holy Spirit to believers, all for the greater good. These gifts can encompass prophecy, healing, the gift of tongues, discernment, and more, conviction, and repentance. John 16, 8 asserts that the Holy Spirit convicts the world concerning sin, righteousness, and judgment. When an individual experiences a profound sense of conviction regarding their sins and subsequently repents, it serves as an unmistakable sign of the Holy Spirit's active involvement in their life. Empowerment for witnessing. Acts 1, 8 highlights that the Holy Spirit endows believers with the power to be witnesses of Jesus. The 700 left-handed warriors in the Bible, in the death depths of biblical lore, hidden within Judges 20 verse 16, lies an astonishing revelation, the 700 left-handed warriors of Benjamin. But what sets them apart is not just their sheer number, it's their incredible accuracy with a sling. Imagine, every one of them could sling a stone at a hair's breadth and never miss. Their story is a breathtaking testament to skill and strategy, defying all odds. These 700 warriors, shrouded in mystery, were an enigmatic force to be reckoned with. Why did they choose the left-handed path? What ancient secret fueled their remarkable precision. As we ponder the enigma of these warriors, we're left with a profound lesson. In the midst of obscurity, greatness can arise. The tale of the 700 left-handed warriors reminds us that even the most unconventional paths can lead to extraordinary feats, leaving us in awe of the untapped potential within us all.